Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Bert Doman with um, a chart predictor. Today is November 20th, 2015. Uh, today we want to discuss the China market and not the popular uh, index which is so manipulated by the Chinese government and is, uh, consists primarily of the big SOEs which means uh, uh, companies owned by the government. Uh, this is the CNXT, which is the uh, small and mid-size uh, privately held companies uh, that are publicly listed, of course, but these are not owned by the government. And uh, this is the index that uh, plunged a huge amount right here in July and August. And uh, then we've had this rebound here. This is when speculators came back in. Uh, most of these speculators, it's been found, uh, don't even have a high school education. Uh, many of them are illiterate, but they know how to speculate, uh, even with their last dollar, or Juan, as we would say. And uh, here you can see that the um, rebound has been about 40% of the crash, which is entirely normal. In fact, we would expect it to go up here, which is the 50% retracement of this entire decline. Uh, we could go to the next Fibonacci retracement level, which is the 61.2 level. Uh, this would be entirely normal in a rebound from a crash. And then we would have to see. Uh, you will see China now doing everything possible to put a good face onto this whole picture and say that this was just an aberrant uh, situation and uh, the long-term uptrends in China will continue. Uh, that is fiction. There's no way that a, a big credit crunch as they have in China right now can lead to an economic recovery. And now the government is of course uh, very uh, strongly trying to fight uh, corruption which includes uh, you know, about 700,000 party officials right now. Uh, nobody really knows how many, but that's one number that we've heard. Uh, so you're going to, going to see China going up here. Now, probably into uh, the year end, who knows? Uh, but uh, we could go up here and then everybody's going to get very bullish. So this is uh, the kind of thing that we look at. All the markets internationally now are interconnected. And uh, what happens in China right now is influencing very much what happens in the emerging markets. And that affects what's happening in commodities. And when commodities start rising, and then uh, the U.S. and the Western markets will start rising also uh, because everybody wants their, uh, their statements uh, to look good at year end. All the money managers and the hedge fund managers want uh, good reports at year end for their customers. Uh, next year is going to be the one that tells the story. Okay, thank you for coming uh, with us uh, today and uh, be on the watch for the next uh, episode of Chart Predictor.